We are in a very difficult time right now. Joe Biden has managed to bring together a pretty strong coalition between the European Union and the United States. Uh, what we've put forth at this point has been pretty crippling economically. But what do we do now? What, what happens? What, what, what can we say as a country? Is there a bipartisan front where there is agreement on what needs to come next? Well, Becky, in all due respect, it wasn't Joe Biden who brought Europe together. It was Putin invading Ukraine. Okay. It was we'll take the, that. It was the, it was the fear of where were they were coming next. Well, what we do now is you don't say no to the MiGs. If you, if you can't have a no-fly zone, why don't you allow the Ukraines to develop their own no-fly zone, where they could actually have a ceasefire instead of Russia bombing and killing the, innocent people leaving? Yeah. With the, if, the, the Poland, if Poland Poland's... is going to supply the MiGs, provide them to Ukraine, those are the jets they fly, those are the ones they are trained on, yeah, let them that defend would bring NATO themselves. Into it, Kevin. Wouldn't we, if we're part How of does NATO, that... then doesn't that okay. bring NATO into it? Well, the, supplying javelins today, no, does that yeah, bring NATO Polish into jets, it? The, the Polish the Polish jets, the po Poland says they'll only do it if we replace them with very strong jets right now. So, you know, by extension, Why? the United States would be involved with that right now. Well, if you ask the question what the president should do, he should sell weapons, not just to Poland, but to, to Taiwan, too. He should speed it up. Because you know what happens in that situation? We won't have another Ukraine. It deters those like China and Russia from entering other countries when they can defend themselves. And with all due respect, why would Biden, if he had this intel, if these sanctions were so dangerous, why wouldn't he have invoked them prior to entering? Because what Putin understood was nothing deterred him from going in. His plan you, was wrong. He thought, he thought Kiev would fall in three days. Right. He, he did not understand fronts, how strong with Ukraine. Do you worry so about Ukrainian the idea that people, Putin has nuclear weapons? And we're just not sure if he's even a, a rational or logical person at this point. If he's, not, if he's not rational or logical today, he's not to tomorrow either. So I don't think it's fair to sit and watch innocent people murdered when they want to defend themselves. I think we should allow them to defend themselves. I don't believe that gets us into any other situation. I believe it would also save thousands of people who want to escape, but it would also deter Putin from trying to go further. What did your, you sent a letter to Gavin uh, Newsom? Yes, I sent it to Gavin Newsom about, simply to allow. What do you want him to do? What, 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 I want him what, to lift his executive orders against oil and um, gas from the permitting, from the hydracting, because this would allow us in California to replace the 50,000 barrels we get every day from Russia with California. Wouldn't it be nice if you had companies like Chevron and others that care about it, an environment instead of buying it from Putin? And I don't think we should replace it with Iranian or Venezuela oil and paying other dictators. Let's create Californian jobs. Let's help America become energy independent. Let's do it in a more environmentally sound way. Let's make America stronger and the world safer. Do you think anything is going to change uh, in terms of, for example, Sarah Bloom Raskin? Is, is, will she eventually be seated uh, on the Fed? She's uh, obviously there's been... I'm uh, I'm not in the changer. Senate, but I, but I think I that would be a, I think that'd be a fatal mistake for America. Should we not learn from our past? I, I would like to make sure we don't repeat the mistakes. And if we warned uh, advance, think about what Europe wants to do now. They would like to reverse what they had done for the last couple of years, where they are now taking gas from natural gas from Russia instead of providing it themselves. They put themselves in the situation that they're nervous about going in the future, but they were warned. They didn't fund their military, what they were warned about. And now they're in a weaker position, and weakness put, puts you in this when you could be stronger. Why don't we make our own strength? And think of this one question. If now the sanctions go in to stop Nord Stream 2 pipeline because that somehow that will weaken the economy of Russia, well, what about the XL pipeline? Wouldn't that make America stronger? instead of saying no to that? 